way. I mean, eventually there'll be somebody. There has to be somebody, you know. I never knew they kept statistics on that. I didn't know that. What does ethics have to do with this? What does race have to do with being a, with the chess? What, the world's eager to see a black chess woman master? I like to see that. I like to see it. Because you have women that play chess. I mean, I've played against many out here, women that are really good at playing chess. Do you see a lot of women of color come out here to play? Not a lot. There are some, but not a lot. I'm sure there's some black women who master chess already. I'm sure of that. They go down to the chess club. They got them over there. It's mostly men dominated. Yeah. I find those places actually pretty fun to go into because they always underestimate within chess. Like you don't know if I'm better than you or not because there's no physical part of the game that tells you that I'm more inclined to this than you are. It's all up here, it's all mental. Black people play chess. Black people have played chess for a long time. There's a whole culture around playing chess, but playing it in, in mainstream settings is a different question. There are still like, these really intense structural barriers. I think that there's this attitude in the chess community, like what does any of that have to do with chess? Nobody comes out of the womb knowing how to play chess. I mean, even people who seem to be, quote, naturals at it need training, need practice. Often you're first because there have been barriers. I think every black woman chess player has probably asked herself, where are the other black women chess players? <laughs> I guess the lack of black women in chess really goes towards chess not being there for black women. You don't really see African-American chess teachers because I only had one, while the rest of the chess teachers I had was all males. I get more comfortable with another woman in the room or another African-American woman in the room. I just really love how, like, especially like the trash talkers and people that like underestimate me. And then when I like, when we play, they have like a new look at the end where I guess there's like respect now. And um, there's more, I guess, a following with each other. If you were to ask a random chess player to name a black chess female master, I think people would struggle to name one other than myself. And that would be in the world. I've been Googling it, I've been trying to find out, I feel like there must be people out there. Um, but there really aren't, which is kind of crazy. I would have really big confidence issues because I'd get teased by other people and telling me I'm no good at chess and that women can't play. People even mentioned that, um, why are there no other black people playing chess? Obviously, black people don't know how to play chess because they're stupid. Shouldn't they be doing sports? There's been lots of times during games when I've been in critical positions and I've doubted myself and then made the wrong decision during that time. And, you know, it, it gets to me. I can hear their voices. In chess, Confidence plays such a larger factor because it is such a mind game. And, you know, you you can have the skill, but if you doubt yourself all the time, that's going to take away a lot of that skill. It's going to undermine a lot of that skill. To become a grandmaster in chess, you're talking 1,700 out of millions is so slim. Mm -hmm. It's even, it's even um, less of a chance than you make in the NBA. <laughs> If you want to excel at chess, you have to invest the time. In the case of the black community, most of us don't really have the luxury of time um, because we are, we're having to make ends meet, you know, tr trying to find our way economically in the society. For, for so long, we had been uh, kind of marginalized economically. But what chess does for black people 
is it provides a platform to do other things. For example, to get into a competitive university. Chess looks very good on your resume. And I have found that in my community, that's the main takeaway. Uh -oh. Rochelle Ballantyne is a very interesting story because her story is chronicled in Brooklyn Castle. And there was this emphasis on her being the first African-American ma female master. I grew up in a single parent household. My grandmother taught me how to play chess when I was about eight or nine. She was the one, like she was like, oh, you're really good at this game. If you keep going, you could become the first African-American female chess master. And then after she passed, I think that's when it was sort of like, I need to do this for her. What I saw was that there was so much pressure put on her after Brooklyn Castle and the pronouncement that she was close to being the first African-American female master. And I think at one time, she considered just giving up. Well, we, we offer earplugs, so that's an option. If I bring a doctor's note uh -huh. that says that I can't play without listening to music because of my anxiety, um, would that suffice? Well, I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you that. Stopped. So I like, I didn't face it. I ran away. Because I was tired of fighting. I was tired of like, having to show up and fight for my like, fight to belong. Um, I like have to do that in every other aspect of my life. And I didn't want to do it in the one aspect where it like really should not matter. So I stopped. I was afraid of letting everyone down because they put this title on me um, to sort of like usher in the new generation of black girls and girls in general. And I think that's the mistake that a lot of people make uh, in my community when they try to accomplish goals, they put all these qualifiers on it as opposed to looking for the goal itself. But now that I'm back, I know what it means for kids who look like me to be in those spaces. And I like want to honor that. I fully expected someone to break this record when I stopped playing, but also now I still have a chance to attain it. There's this one girl who's like higher rated than me, and so she's pretty close too. Is it like Jessica Hyatt? Oh yeah, it's Jessica. Yeah, Jessica Hyatt. We have uh, a young lady now, Jessica Hyatt, kind of approaching master level. Master level is 2,200 and above. Well, if you continue to beat players that are better than you, you, you begin to move up. If you lose to players that are lower than you, then you lose points. It's kind of cool, though, that we have a, a scholar within our network program who is on the verge of accomplishing this if she, if she continues playing. I try and, and I teach the kids just not to quit because you never know what the what the outcome of the game is going to be if you end it abruptly. I'm able to understand these kids a little bit better because I'm able to relate to them because I'm from the inner city, I'm from New York. I know the, the struggles and the hardships. Just seeing another, I guess, person of color in the room with them, showing them, and hopefully it makes them more comfortable. I know that I'm teaching them something that's gonna be used, whether they know it or not. United States Chess Federation does not keep ethnic data. They keep gender, they keep age. Those are the two things that they keep. When you do that, you kind of limit your ability to measure your growth in certain segments of the community. We have all these demographics. And these stories are not being told. This history is not being written. 
I think it's always going to be important to see black people doing things that we were told that we couldn't do. I think more can always be done. Because if we're talking about it right now, we want more to be done. Me and Jessica, we just have a relationship where we just like push each other to be better um, at chess. Chess is, is like an individual game because it's just you versus someone else. But I feel like at the end of the day, you're part of a team. I think that chess does have all these benefits in terms of, you know, like I said, concentration, an analytics, um, you know, strategic, strategic decision making, all those kind of things. But I think one of the reasons if I had to, um, if I had to encourage other black females to play chess would be to prove other people wrong. It won't be long before we see a black female master in the US, I think, with the amount of support that, that we can give 